welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're gonna do another thrift haul. I'm doing some thrifting. I told you guys in my last thrift haul that I'm shopping mostly for like sweaters for reselling at the moment. Obviously it's getting colder. I'm so sad to see the summer go, but it's that time of year. And honestly, I find that the sweater months for me have always been more profitable because I find more expensive winter pieces more easily than summer pieces. And I mean, I just think winter pieces in general are just more expensive because it's more fabric and such. So I went thrifting, a vintage thrift store, the same one that I spoke about in my last video. I picked up a few sweaters on my last trip there. I'm just gonna show you guys them. They're sitting right here. I'm sure you could kind of get a peek. I think these are some really good items. And if you wanna see what I got, just keep on watching. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this, cause I know you like them. Let's get into the video. The first sweater we have is this chunky knit fair isle print sweater it's just black and white it has a little bit of like red yellow and green here which is very much um the colors of my culture or if you want to say rastafarian culture but i still consider it part of my culture this is the sweater it's exactly the same as the back and the front so it's really hard to tell and like the sleeves also have the same pattern as well as the hem super cute i really like the sweater this gives me such christmas vibe i feel like this is a time where that's the time where a lot of these are gonna like start to really pick up sales so i'm just trying to stack up on all of them and then like cash out this one is called Dunt. i couldn't really find any ebay listings on it with that name but then again i think i also spelled it wrong because i just realized it's sunt and i'd probably search something else this is the entire tag here hopefully you guys can see um and obviously i paid ten dollars for it i'm trying to show you guys but it's kind of hard there's this other word it looks like it's in russian maybe i think that's a russian a but it says hand stricket so that's what I searched on eBay. So I've never seen this brand before, but it looked like a really good sweater. It looked very much like Zillow Norway, which is my quest to find through getting all of these sweaters, just to like find a lot of Deal of Norway sweaters. But in the midst of looking for that, there are always other good finds as well. And sometimes I don't find any Deal of Norway. So it's good to just pick up these other items that I know are also gonna give really good profit like the items in this haul including this one so i see that this brand from what i searched seems to go for seems to go for about like 40 50 ish up like around 50 ish dollars and i mean for ten dollars me buying it for ten dollars that's a big profit and when i'm that fifty dollars hits my bank account that's gonna be a big gain for me and you know a really good profit well on the front of this it has a little bit of like yellow staining on it if you guys can see i'm just gonna detail that i don't like washing wool because it does shrink in the washing machine and i'm just not gonna like i don't feel like putting in the time to you know do it any other way um after i found this like really really nice i think it was vince sweater and then it like shrunk and so much and also if you have wool and it has a hole in it you might known or might not have known it gets bigger i don't really like the hassle i don't like that if someone else does it at least it's in their hand or hands when it happens but not in mine and not out of my pockets you know so i just Send, I'm just gonna send all the wool pieces as I find them. I just won't pick anything up or anything crazy on it. So on to the next piece is a brand that we do love, we do know and love. Personally, I do. Another really Christmassy type piece. It's this is beautiful red sweater with this like cowl type turtleneck, cable knitting, super gorgeous, super bomb condition, beautiful, vibrant color. I think this would be perfect for Christmas time. I'm sure someone's like dying for Christmas to come and really excited for the season. So I mean, they might be the one that buys it first, earlier, before Christmas time even comes. Who knows? But this is in such beautiful condition. This is from the brand Aaron's Craft, which you did hear me talk about in my last sweater haul. Size extra small and 100% wool. It's very like soft, whereas this one's kind of like a little bit rougher. It might be like an itchy sweater type vibe, maybe. But this one's like very soft and just feels really good on skin. Again, another heavyweight one. Perfect for the winter months, obviously. I hear sirens. I mean, honestly, if you 
listen throughout the entire video, you probably hear sirens. So just a little bit hint of sirens the entire video. I, I've noticed that in a lot of videos like that I film outside. It's just one of those things in New York, I guess, like constant sirens. But you don't even notice it. Um, so yeah, another Irish wool because this is um, from Ireland. Like more so than even like any other type of wool, Irish wool, wool specifically from Ireland. It just like, it's like a, what word would I use? But I don't know, it's what people gravitate towards, Irish wool. So it's good to put in your titles if you don't know that. I mean, I don't know. And this is gonna get me, I'm sure, probably anywhere from 50 to probably $80, if not more. I like, honestly, if not more. Because it's really good condition. I bought this only for eight dollars. Eight dollars. Usually they're like ten, but this one's only eight. Really, 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 really good condition. I'm really, really happy with this one. Hold on, let me see. Honestly, you could kind of wear this as a like mini dress if you want to, because it's like really long. The next item is this Patagonia sweater. I actually found two Patagonia sweaters. But this is the first one. I really like this one. Obviously, I do believe this is a woman's sweater. And it's this kind of like fleece type texture. With this like cut button down, quarter neck, and a little pocket. I'm pretty sure this is functional because it's Patagonia. I think it's, I think their brand is really for like nature, like those nature type people who like to be in nature, like maybe go on a hike. And like, what is the point of having a non-functional pocket? for clothes that's designated for those type of things. Personally, I do think I'm gonna end up wearing this sweater. I think I'll probably like tuck it in some high-waisted jeans and wear it because I love the color. I love the the monochrome with this type purple against this purple. It has this like turtleneck. Love my turtlenecks in the winter. So I actually wanted to get a sweater like this, but cropped um, for winter. Probably still will, but this is a good find. I'm pretty sure this will Sell. I'm not sure for what price. I didn't look that up because obviously I just know Patagonia is a good brand, so I just picked it up. And it's in really good condition. It's oh, this is a large. It looks very shrunken, but I'm gonna put the measurements, so hopefully they will decipher. And this again costs ten dollars. Honestly, the items in this store don't really go over ten dollars. The most I've ever seen at an L Train Vintage was $13, which I really, 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 really appreciate for people who can't like afford crazy prices, you know, but still want like really good items or like they're doing what I'm doing and trying to like upgrade in life. So I feel like anyhow you use it, those prices are super beneficial for just like people who need them or, you know, you know, and they have like really good stuff, like such good stuff for such, affordable prices i love that so much i mean it's not ben's prices but psh, you get your worth believe me so next up is the next patagonia sweater i'm pretty sure this one is a men's sweater this one looks like it's a large that one looks like it's kind of a small it might be shrunken but it's so soft like i don't know but that one might be shrunken so another one with a little mock neck this one's a full zip with pockets and it's like this little, this like mauled gray type color. Really good condition again. No defects, love that. This one says worn wear. I don't know what that means or if that's like a collection in there. You guys tell me if you know worn wear um, cause we can all learn here and I'm sure it, other people would appreciate it. So if you know, if that's like a line or something, let us know because I'm not sure. And this one says, and this one says common thread partnership. So I'm guessing that's the line. So two Patagonia sweaters, love, 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 love that. That looks so cute with my outfit. But yeah, love that so much for me. Okay, so next is two, also the same brand, not Patagonia, but they're the same brand as each other. Honestly, this, these two probably came from the same people. At first I thought this was a sweater. But inside of it, it has like this like bomber jacket type lining. So I feel like this is kind of more like a jacket than a sweater. Another wool sweater jacket thing. It's really nice. I love it. This one is just so intricate. It has like these boxed in floral details here. And like, 
I don't know what you'd call it, but like these little, is it like swirls? It's kind of like swirl pattern here and the buttons are gorgeous. I love these good buttons. Do you guys see that? Freaking gorgeous, love that. Um, then it has these two pockets on the front, also embroidered with stuff. Like literally, literally it's like a 3D embroidery. So that's really, really nice. I love this. You know, this would be really cute. I might wear this as a dress for my boyfriend somewhere this is bomb i think this is very 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 much fall vibes and i'm hearing a lot of other youtubers saying like oh brown is gonna be in and honestly i've been like vibing with brown like i wanted to wear brown yesterday but i didn't end up doing it because we only went out for like five seconds so i didn't end up doing it but like i feel the brown vibes myself so i think this would be bomb for like summer i mean not summer but for like fall the fall months like October, November-ish, um, and obviously onwards, but mainly for fall because of the color, and I love the neckline. I think this would be bomb. Probably just wearing it with some tights and some boots, like a, just a casual, warm fall outfit, maybe to go on a walk or something, or go on a like, casual date to get, who knows, maybe like fucking ice cream in the middle of um, fall. <laughs> But yeah, and this is the back and just has one box in the back, which is super cute. And this just perfect in every single way. This is from the brand Icelandic Design. Another one of my regular pickups from this store. This is also a good profit one. It sells for about $50 up, which again, when, it hit, when that 50 hits my bank account, <laughs> that, that 40, that profit off that gave me that, that my $10 made me profit from what what you know what i mean the profit i got from spending that ten dollars totally worth it and these do go they go this is honestly what really started turning the wheel for my thrifting because i just had a bunch of these brand sweaters and they were just turning and once the wheel started turning i just was able to get more items and then here I am today. Again, I said this in my last haul, but again, I did stop um, shopping at the store to try to get more items rather than more pricier items. Like, so I would get more sales rather than waiting for just big wins. I wanted to get like little shits, little sales to go in between the big wins. But in the midst of that, I kind of just really fell off of getting the big wins. But the big wins were also mainly winter clothes for me this winter starting early we're getting back on it and i'm gonna make as much effort as i can just getting these like sweaters in while it's still cold and getting those sweater sales in i'm going to go to the bins as well but i just want to make sure i get a ton of these sweaters so i can just max out on profit with this type of inventory and lastly we have a jacket that's just like the one i just showed you except this one is red with this like floral embroidery right here Icelandic design reminds me very much of like kind of i mean these two Icelandic design jackets kind of remind me very much of like the asian culture so maybe it's like more like i don't know i don't know if eskimos are asian but maybe because it's iceland so i'm like maybe it's just like Eskimo type style which is <laughs> I'm not complaining because I can imagine that's so cute but just reminds me of like very Asian culture like I can see like a very Asian grandma wearing this any grandma obviously could wear it but like I just first thing that I would come to mind if like I was to put a model in this would be like an Asian woman you know this one is full zip rather the other one was button down so this is the pattern for this one just this red and black with the embroidery on the neck and like upper torso area and again we have the singular embroidery in the back similar to the other one really cute this one reminds me more of Christmas again because of the red um, I don't know if anyone else how many people hold out on buying red items until Christmas in those months but I feel like I'm probably one of them Cause I just feel like once you, I feel like when you wear like a lot of red before in those months, I feel like red is a very summer color, Valentine's Day and like Christmas. So if I'm wearing red before in the fall months, I feel like I'm feeling, I feel like very like I'm OD, like feeding for Christmas or like 
afterwards i feel like i'm still in christmas when it's just not obviously you can do whatever you want but that's just my personal opinion just like wearing red so again i feel like another perfect for christmas time december months after thanksgiving ish type sweater oh my god i cannot wait till that time of year this is my first holiday season moved out and i'm gonna going back home to my mom and being with my family it's gonna be a little bit of a different experience because i don't live there anymore i'm really excited um here is the sleeves i didn't show you that but they're really cute as well and again with the floral embroidery right on there and it has pockets i forgot to show you guys the zip on this sweater because i think it's beautiful um look at that it's like a little charm type talisman type thing that is just so cute that is don't you think that is cute i love that love the detail love that little detail right there because i don't know i'm just really into like it just gives it a little extra oomph you know when they put like those fancy a fancy zipper like this or like a, or fancy buttons it just i don't know it just gives me life like it just makes me happy to see like it's just so cute like Great. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you guys that. Love those. I cannot wait to get those listed and get those sold. My my picture taking quality now since the last time I was getting items like this is way better. We finally decided that a white background was the better option because I used a green background. So I'm just excited to look for the quality of the pictures that I'll be able to take with these items. That'll be worth the price of them and the profit that I'm gonna get and just to see the sales of all of them because I have a good amount right now. Like when I sold these in the beginning, I didn't have this many of them and this is only my second trip. So I'm really excited to get more, really excited for those sales and I'm really excited to just show you guys, obviously, because I'm gonna be showing you guys. So if you're excited for that as much as I am, then of course be sure to subscribe because those videos are coming and you want to know when they are up and hit the bell button because i mean i i mean it's there right so might as well if you're like into that and give this video a thumbs up because we want more people in our community and more knowledge to be shared down in the comments because i don't know everything i'm still new at this and i just tell you what guys what i know or what i've experienced so if we could like bring everyone together and like be able to like have a like kind of forum type thing where or a community where we're all just like sharing knowledge because i there's some things i would love to like learn from you guys if you guys know so thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate you being here and always being here and i will see you in my next one guys i love you bye Mm-hmm. <laughs>